Now I've got a quick way that you can clean up an email conversation like when you get back from vacation and you find your inbox filled up with the casualties of replies that some have included you in on. Like, well, we got this high conversation going. If that's been going on 50,000 times and I get all these highs here, well, instead of selecting each one at a time and, well, hitting the delete key on the keyboard or clicking and dragging it to the deleted items, instead I can go ahead with one of these selected in the conversation and come up here on the Home tab to the Delete group and click on this guy right here. Clean up, go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and you get three choices. You can clean up the conversation, which as it says in the pop-up, remove redundant messages in the selected conversation. So select any one of these in that conversation, like the High conversation. Or you can clean up the entire folder, which is the inbox. So all conversations that are in there, not just the high, but if I had a conversation with apple picking and I got, well, a hundred apple picking replies back and forth, it'll clean up that as well. Again, all conversations within the folder. And then you can do it to also subfolders. So if I had a folder within a folder in the inbox, a subfolder, it would dig down there and clean that folder out as well. So with it selected here, when I go ahead and click on clean up conversation, it takes all the messages in the conversation, and in this case, hi, and just leaves me with the latest one in that conversation. So when I click on it, and it says all redundant messages will be moved to the deleted items folder, that's the setting. If you want to change the setting, then click on settings, it takes you backstage, goes to the mail tab, and then you can come over here and scroll down and go to conversation cleanup. And you can say, well, cleaned up items will go to this folder instead of, by default, going to the deleted items folder. So you can click on Browse and choose another folder. We haven't talked about how to create a new folder, but you can click on New and create a folder if you'd like. But just make sure that if you do it here without any training on it, it'll create it with whatever you have selected. So it'd be a subfolder to the garbage can. If you want to add the same level of all these, then select Outlook Data File and Create New. I digress. We'll cover that later. Click Cancel. And there's the other options. Like when cleaning subfolders, recreate the folder hierarchy in the destination folder. Or don't move unread messages. So you can check that. In any case, choose your flavor, what works best for you. I'm going to click Cancel and leave it as is and say Clean Up. So it moved those other two messages, the redundant messages, and left me with the latest message in the conversation. So I could double click and get everything within that email message of all the replies going back and forth and close out. Then go to the deleted items folder and there they are sitting right there, the redundant messages. And of course, if you wanna change those settings, let me go back to the inbox and you don't want to come up here and click on the cleanup conversation to be able to get those settings. Remember it's backstage, so if I click on cleanup, well, I could do it here and go backstage. I mean, that may be fast. And click Cancel and not actually do any more cleanup because I've already did it. You can click on the File tab, go down to Options, and then select the Mail tab. And then you can scroll down to do your conversation cleanup right there. So one of two ways to be able to get to this point and change the settings. Let me go ahead and click Cancel. And then last but not least, if you want to be able to take a certain conversation that you're included in on and always move that to another folder, like you have another folder down here called Apple Picking, then I can go ahead and with that conversation selected, come up here on the Home tab, go to the Move group, click on the Move drop down arrow, and all the way at the bottom, always move messages in this conversation. And you can see in the pop up, move current and future messages in the selected conversation to a different folder. When I click on that, it opens up, you select the folder, click OK, and it will take all new messages as soon as it comes in and go, whoopsie doodle, not in the inbox, let's go to that other folder. And so you want to keep that in mind. And you'll be able to find out if there are any new messages, because if they're unread, remember, there'll be a number next to it. So if you have a folder called Apple Picking, and you've got one, two, three, whatever number, that means, well, you got a new message that you haven't read yet. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.